These are the uh, two female sided, one male sided uh, tees um, that have the uh, power injection set up on the alternate data wire. Um, so if you need to fix that and not have to rewire your boxes, this is a quick guide also to help me remember how to do this every time. So this is how they come out of the box and this is what we need to fix. As you can see, there is the voltage plus coming from the male side of the string. We don't want that. We're gonna get rid of that line entirely so it's nice and clean on the injection and we're gonna move that voltage plus from the male side, which has the voltage on the data side on the female, we're gonna move that back to the more standard regular pin. You cut off the female line of the T down here, and then you're actually gonna cut away and kill off the, uh, what's normally the 12 volt line. Then you will solder the yellow data line into 12 volt of the new male T, of the uh, new male end, and the regular ground. And then you will uh, cut off the data line from uh, this one as well. As a reminder, if you are using the heat shrink solder tubes to cut off enough of the casing here so that you can actually get that all on there and fit, as we said, we're gonna go, what you'd normally think of as being data, although that data goes to 12 volt here, to 12 volt in from our male pigtail, and then ground to ground. I have heat shrunk the uh, solder connections and gotten good solder connections there. And the last test will be to use my voltmeter to actually confirm that everything plugs in and goes the correct way as I expect. Then heat shrink on the casing, the last bit, and then uh, tape it up for uh, easy reference. And our last step is we use some electrical tape to mark down that this male input here is only getting ground and data. But the 12 volt comes in here on the female side and the 12 volt is coming from this male side on the T. So 12 volt comes in and goes that way, but it doesn't go back that way. And that's my labeling system for this.